I loved her against reason. Against promise. Against peace. Against hope. Against happiness. Against all discouragement that could be, never close your lips to those whom you have already opened your heart. There are books of which the backs and covers are by far the best parts, have a heart that never hardens, and a temper that never tires, and a touch that never hurts. A wonderful fact to reflect upon that every human creature is constituted to be that profound secret and mystery to every other. It is a far far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far far better rest that I go to than I have ever known. Love her. Love her. Love her. If she favors you. Love her. If she wounds you. Love her. If she tears your heart to pieces, and as it gets older and stronger, it will tear deeper. Love her. Love her. Love her. In a word. I was too cowardly to do what I knew to be right. As I had been too cowardly to avoid doing what I knew to be wrong. To conceal anything from those to whom I am attached. Is not in my nature. I can never close my lips where I have opened my heart. It was one of those March days when the sun shines hot and the wind blows cold. When it is summer in the light. And winter in the shade. Reflect upon your present blessings, of which every man has many, not on your past misfortunes. Of which all men have some. Every traveler has a home of his own. And he learns to appreciate it the more from his wandering. And yet I have had the weakness, and have still the weakness, to wish you to know with what a sudden mastery you kindled me, heap of ashes that I am, into fire. There was a long hard time when I kept far from me the remembrance of what I had thrown away when I was quite ignorant of its worth. Sadly, sadly, the sun rouse. It rose upon no sadder sight than the man of good abilities and good emotions. Incapable of their directed exercise. Incapable of his own help and his own happiness. Sensible of the blight on him. And resigning himself to let it eat him away. For it is good to be children sometimes. And never better than at Christmas. When its mighty founder was a child himself, take nothing on its looks. Take everything on evidence. There's no better rule.